That's right, Kat. I'm standing with one of SA's leading horticulturists, Caroline McGowan, and she's here to talk to us about trends for 2016 in your garden. Now, although South Africa is currently facing a water crisis, it's also very important to consider this when you're thinking of creating your garden. Absolutely. Carol, nice to have you back with us. So, so yes, like Zoe said, I mean, right now there's a big focus on the responsible use of uh, water when it comes to watering your lawn, when it comes to your plants as well. But we want to make sure that we do have a beautiful garden, even though there is a water shortage. So what are some of the characteristics of plants that use little water but still beautiful add a special touch to your space at home? Um, water-wise plants are mostly, you get a lot of grey foliage in your, in your water-wise plants. We're talking smaller leaves, um, even hairy leaves, almost needle-like leaves. Okay. Um, that, that helps um, with the, with the take-up of water. And then obviously plants like your succulents, um, there's a huge variety of wonderful stuff. And does it depend, I mean, I see you have the succulents here, so they don't need that much water. But when it comes to planting these plants, do you have to plant them a specific time of the year or can you plant them all year round? You can plant them all year round. Obviously, you have to be a little bit more careful in the heat. Um, try obviously not to do it in the, in the heat of the day, um, in a cooler part of the day. And then just make sure they're well watered where, um, after you, you've, you've uh, planted them, yeah. Yeah. Now there's a lot of, lot, lot of knowledge that you need to build up when it comes to gardening and you're the perfect person as well to ask. Now, we saw Zoe, our little DIY princess over here, make a beautiful hanging pot plant. And now there's something very special. It looks nice within a house as well, or within a space. But, but oftentimes, and I don't think a lot of people know exactly how to go about <coughs> watering those hanging plants. So what is the correct method? Um, there's, it, it, like planting any plant, you just need to make sure that the, the soil, it, it, you've got a good mixture. Um, uh, it must be well, well drained. And um, those are probably, yeah. uh, probably your, your basics. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and plant choice. Yeah, plant because... choice is, is, is the main. And making, yeah. making sure you don't overwater it. Yeah. Overwatering can really kill a plant. Underwatering, you can still revive um, your specimen. All right, because I've also heard like you would literally take off the plant and put it in the sink maybe with water you or something. You can do Is that, that if it's really under stress. Okay. Yes, that, that's a good way of reviving a plant if you've been away on holiday. Um, you can even do that when you go on holiday. But uh, I think mainly making sure it's well-drained, it doesn't, the roots don't rot. Uh, and your in your plant choice. Well, and lastly, a lot of people have you know grass patches, and now with the water restrictions and the drought, um, it is suffering a little bit. What would you say is the best grass to have in your garden? Um, I would probably go for something in the Cape Province. Probably buffalo is your your better choice, or there is quirk paspanum grasses. Um, otherwise, I'm tending to recommend, especially in the smaller spaces, your artificial grass. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, they'll I would, always look nice. Yeah, I need to pick your brain on that because my grass took a beating over these past couple of weeks with the hot weather.